Sex length recessive 1b page 57. Okay, take a look. We said another thing they can ask. We did the individuals, but they're also asking in some cases for you to determine some uh, some of the parents' uh, genotypes and then do a probability type of question with that. Okay, so uh, let's just isolate the ones they're talking about, one and two. So generations two, one and two, two. So these two individuals here. So we already determined that she, from the previous question, that she is a carrier. She's normal, so she has a normal XX chromosome. And then we said X with the little h is the hemophilia. And he's affected or has the mutated XX chromosome, so he has an XY. So if they were to have another child, what is the probability of them having a son? Okay, let's put that right into the question so we don't forget the product rule and include the one half with, the, uh, with hemophilia. So let's do our simple monohybrid, just a monohybrid, but again, using X's and Y's because it is sex linked, in this case, recessive. Boys go down the side, moms go on top. Now, in this case, all they care about the sons. So I'm going to skip these. I don't care about those. So all we care about is the son. One half to have a son. A son with hemophilia. Let's work it out. XY, normal. X with a little age, Y, hemo, male. That's all we care about for sex linked. So out of those two boxes, one half of those. And this is a very typical question. They love probability with, uh, with sex length here. So one times one is one over two times two is four. So again, decimal 0 0.25 or 25%. This question didn't tell you to put it in any particular form, your answer, but uh, on your exams, they will. Okay, any questions, just give me an email. Thanks.